sausages in here with some like multi-grain bread and a little bit of that ketchup I just showed you. It's a bit of a different breakfast day, I didn't really fancy granola and yogurt but it is also already quarter to one and I've not actually eaten anything yet so it's basically lost. I've had this for my dinner, it's a cod and lemon fish cake with um, some green beans, mange too and broccoli and some Pizza Express house light dressing on top. I kind of seem to have this every Tuesday night now and then I have the other fish cake on Wednesday lunch so you can expect that tomorrow. Eat your breakfast this morning, granola, yogurt and nectarine. Yeah. Okay, this is my lunch today. I've got the other fish cake, as I promised I would have <laughs> for my lunch, which is over there. And I've got some roasted broccoli and mushrooms and a little bit of tartar, uh, because I say tomato then, and a little bit of tartar sauce. Roasted vegetables doesn't have to be unhealthy. This doesn't contain any oil or any, you know, any bad stuff at all. It's just literally veg with fry light, the um, seasoning that I mentioned, salt and pepper. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna eat this now because it looks and smells delicious. dinner tonight we were meant to have curry but we didn't have all the bits for it unfortunately and didn't realize until it was a bit too late so made bits that we basically had in the house so made some potato wedges beans and then this little thing here is like a mozzarella and vegetable like little crisp bake thing from tesco i know it looks like i tend to have a lot of things in breadcrumbs but this wasn't intended for today as well as having a fish cake so it's a bit of a have to kind of make do of what we were going to have or what we ended up having i should say um but yeah anyway i'm gonna eat this now Hello, so I thought I'd just have a quick sat, sit down and have a chat to you because I haven't actually spoken to camera all week. Um, I've had a bit of a mental week just with working actually, so which is good, which is great. But yeah, I haven't really had a chance to properly sit down and chat to you and talk about a few things that have happened this week and kind of just intro the vlog really without really introing it because we're now on Thursday so it's not really an intro. Just to be honest about that, I didn't want to say, oh hi, it's Monday when actually it's, it's definitely Thursday. Um, so what have I been doing this week? I've been working on a new project for a lady that I'm working with who's a local business near me. Um, I'm doing a website for her, so um, yeah, I've been working on that mostly. That's been taking up most of my time this week. I'm really excited about it. It's looking really good. She's really happy with it so far. And we're gonna do lots of really fun, creative things as well. Yeah, that's really exciting. So that's what I'm kind of doing with my work. I've nearly finished my website, that's going to go live today. I say nearly finished, I have finished it, I've just got one picture left to change which my friend's going to send me like a new version of over later today. So as soon as she does that, I'm going to have another check over it all and then put it live and then I'll start advertising it and, and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so that's done as well. What else have I done? Video editing, I've been editing this video as I've gone along as I always do but that does take up time. I edited a video yesterday for um, my favourites for September, so that went up 
uh, last night for me, but it would be last week for you, last Wednesday. So go and check that out if you haven't seen that already. And so the other thing that I wanted to tell you is I bought a camera and you're, um, you're on there right now. I'm, I'm using it right now on a tripod in my kit on, on a tripod on a diet coke box in my kitchen i might double film this this is gonna be weird hang on hang on i don't know if i can even double film it can i yeah of course i can what am i talking about i don't think i can <laughs> double film it <laughs> there you go you're on a coke box on a camera Yay! that's weird it's a bit of an impromptu decision to actually buy it but i have been considering it for a long time and i was put off by buying one because of the price because cameras are expensive. I didn't want to shell out nearly £600 on a camera because one, I don't have that kind of spare cash just lying around for me to just use on a camera and two, like, that's the only reason actually, <laughs> money. I thought, do you know what, I'm just gonna have to wait until at some point I can realistically spend that money on a camera. But then at the weekend we popped into Curry's and I was having a little look at all the cameras. I said they're stroking the one that I originally wanted or did, do still want to be fair like not that I don't want it anymore it's just I was just standing there stroking the the one that I was thinking of getting and um I saw a few other options in there and thought oh they are a lot cheaper they look very similar they seem to be very similar spec but there must be a big difference really I wouldn't just go into a shop and buy like a relatively expensive item without going home to research it or even just to look at cheaper prices online but anyway so I come home and looked up the two particular cameras that um I'd seen that were a lot cheaper than the one I was looking to get um and yeah did, just did a lot of research and found that actually the one I've ended up buying has got amazing reviews I've watched example videos being shot with this camera on YouTube. I've watched like video reviews where people have talked about the camera but also used it and shown you the quality. I was really impressed and I thought, do you know what? Considering that's like a third of the price of the one that I was originally gonna buy, that looks pretty cool and yeah, I, I think I might get it. The thing that really um, kind of swung it for me is the fact that this particular camera, and so the one that I am using is the Sony Alpha 5100. Um, but this particular camera has a detachable lens, so if I do want to attach new lenses at different points for different types of videos, or even for taking photos, I can attach different lenses. Because like for my sort of new business, I may at some point need to be taking photos. Actually, I do need to be taking photos for the project that I'm currently working on. And even just taking photos for like personal use, like, you know, better quality photos, that said, I mean, my iPhone takes amazing photos, so I'm not really after a camera as such, but just to have the option, is great. I've been using it for two days and around my settings. I don't know 100% if I've got the right settings still. Like I don't know if they should be different ones for filming. We'll see, I guess. I guess I'll just tweak things as I go along. If I put this up and it's not quite right, I'll tweak around with what wasn't right about it. But yeah, so far so good, I'm really liking it. Okay, this is my breakfast for this morning. I have uh, my usual, so I've got yogurt, granola, and apple in here. And, oh, hang on. Oh, hi. Yeah, just, just zoom into it there. Just a uh, cheeky zoom in. Nice. <laughs> And, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Can you tell I'm practicing zooming? Here's my lunch. I've got some carrot and coriander soup and some bread, because I really felt just some bread for fit today. Ravitas just weren't gonna cut it. <laughs> so this is like a couple of slices of like multigrain um, brown bread from Tesco, like their fresh bakery bread. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have this now. Hello, oh wow, my face is really shiny and it's really bright, sorry about that. Um, I'm filming my phone again after my big speech about my camera because um, I didn't really want to take my camera with me tonight. I'm just going to go meet my mum in Faversham for food and then we're going to like a spiritual evening that we go to once a month. So I didn't want to have to like deal with the camera as well, not that I had to deal with it, but I basically need a bigger bag to like take my camera around with me and yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm running a little bit late and I shouldn't really be talking to you. Um, but I thought I'd just shoot a little shot out here because I need to get braver at shooting outside, um, filming outside. Um, definitely but yeah I'll start shoot I'll start using my camera for going outside from now on but yeah tonight I just didn't want to take it with my little bag that I've got because it's just got I've got this tiny little shoulder bag that's really annoying me I need to get a new one um I've got other bags but always an excuse to get a new bag isn't it um anyway I don't know if you can even see me because I'm extremely bright and it's a very sunny evening very nice evening live your life dream big don't forget to be kind Live, it's your life. Rocks are meant to be. 
Oh, hello, how are you? It's Friday! Woo -hoo! I'm just sitting in my office, as you can see, just trying to hide how messy it actually is this side of the room. <laughs> because <laughs> it's messy it's a lovely lovely sunny morning um i'm just doing some bits and bobs on my computer i put my site live yesterday but i haven't actually mentioned it to anyone yet so i'm kind of waiting on a couple of things to come through before i can do that or before i want to do that obviously i can do it right now obviously with a website you change it throughout anyway it doesn't really matter you haven't got to um once you've created a website, it doesn't always stay the same. So, and we'll, I'll be making tweaks throughout, no doubt, anyway. But for the first kind of reveal of it, if you know what I mean, I just want it to look as perfect as it can look right now. So, so I'm doing that this morning, and then this afternoon, I'm going out with my mum. We're going to my grandma's house. Now, my grandma's just recently moved into a uh, care home. So her house that she lived in, um, my family have been basically sorting it out over the last few months. We've been... Um, clearing it out and and packing up all the rubbish or, or putting aside all the things that need to, to kind of stay that kind of thing so they've all been doing that and so today mum and I are going to go and take all the rubbish bags which are there is a lot just to the tip so we're going to do like quite a few runs to the tip and back with all the rubbish bags um and then this afternoon and then this evening um I'm going for a meal with my mum and Luke Luke's coming to meet us so that should be really nice I'm just about to have my breakfast as well so I'll show you that Trek original oat bar and a banana and then in a couple of hours I'm going to have a sausage sandwich for my lunch because I've, I've had a real craving for those this week it's really weird I don't know why like I'm not a big I suppose I'm not a big sausage fan like I realize that's a ridiculous thing to say <laughs> innuendo town because I don't eat meat like I don't obviously eat meat sausages but I always have veggie sausages and I do quite like them but I guess I kind of go through stages where I like them don't like them so right now for some reason I just keep wanting them who who knows why um I usually have the corn like chef selection ones although they've changed the name of them now they're called something else but they are still the same sausages or I'll have the cauldron veggie sausages or the Linda McCartney ones Linda McCartney are like the most popular that everyone seems to like but they're my least favorite um I just find them quite full-on like they're quite um obviously not a meaty flavor but they're cut they're just I don't know I don't know I'm not as big of a fan of those as the other ones but um yeah, so if you have any interest in veggie sausages, you will like that bit of conversation. Probably 98% of you won't, so I'll stop talking about veggie sausages Here right now. Here's my lunch. Two slices of the multi grain bread from Tesco's Bakery, and then two corn sausages in there as well, with some ketchup. The ketchup I use is the no added salt and sugar ketchup. It literally has no sugar in it at all, it has a little bit of sweetener, but not even that much sweetener, so it's, it's pretty... For a ketchup fan like me, this is good news that they now do this, so... Riveting stuff happening at the tip right now. We're just waiting for a bin to be delivered. So one's been taken away and we're just waiting for the new one to be put in. We've been sat in this queue for what, about 20 minutes? About 20 minutes. Oh look, looks like we might be able to go in any minute. Or oh, maybe not. He's going back. Okay. <laughs> Bit longer then. Bloody hell. Right, update, we're still here. We've now been here for about 40, 45 minutes. He's just putting another bin in. <laughs> and we're just sitting here all waiting. So yeah, that's just, it's really fun. It's just it's really going well. How's he going? Don't know if he's going with that either. He's going back again. He's that moving really the metal. Is. Where's the metal going then? Because that looks pretty full up, doesn't it, the metal? <laughs> oh no. Wow. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing. La, la, la.
have a homemade, made by my mum, homemade scone with jam and some whipped cream. Just about to have this now, a cup of tea with the scone with jam and cream. Diet's going well this week. 